stat I wish I'd had prepped is I want to know how many minutes in the ring these men have already spent together. A lot is the answer, a lot. I think it may actually be more time than I have spent in a ring, period. Dives right off the bat here. Gary J dumping his opponent to the outside, hitting one of those patented topes. And he's coming in, house of fire here. With the massive form for Wyatt even has the jacket off. I think everybody sees these two and they just expect 60 minute epic. And that may be, but I think both of these men are gonna be motivated to end this early. Because otherwise, the story of this matchup is gonna be how beat up are they going into round two. Precisely, nobody wants to have a 60 minute epic when there's three more matches they could be going for. Both men went to dump to the outside, but Wyatt got caught on that middle rope. That's something to watch. Watch his wrist as we go through this. He was able to dive through the ropes with his feet and deliver a punishing blow to Gary J. And I'll tell you what, I've gotten all tangly up like that before. It don't feel too well. Not, I mean, that steel cable in there, folks. I mean, uh, it looks like garden hose at home, but it's absolutely not. If there is a, a punishing steel cable in there. <laughs> The Death Valley driver? One, sure seemed to be. two! Yeah. Gary J with the crowd firmly behind him, and I can tell you, if somebody has been in there, opposite of Gary J managing, this can be a, a, ter a terrifying environment for competitors. But Jeremy Wyatt's one of those guys that that crowd response is absolutely not going to intimidate him. It's like yelling at a hockey player who just doesn't do anything. Uh, Jeremy Wyatt is locked in. Jeremy Wyatt possesses hyper focus. That's something that all great successful people have, uh, whether it's in pro wrestling or any other avenues. He's hyper focused on this match. He's gotten a couple good shots right in the cutlets. <laughs> you know, he knew he was going to catch that coming in. He knew going into this contest he was going to catch uh, some chops from Gary J. And there you go. See, he's got him scattered. Grab that arm. He's not going to face another one. Forearms there, Gary J. Gary sends him up, but Wyatt hangs on. Ooh! Whoa! Sends himself all the way out. So much momentum there. Tips to the outside. Listen for that. Wyatt puts a stop uh -oh. to that. Tope! Uh oh! Ah! Belly to back right on the apron. Slams it down, then right Ooh. to the ring post. You know, some folks say the apron is the hardest part, but I would contest it. <laughs> the ring post definitely has you there. It's made out of solid steel. Gary J just got introduced to it face first. Old friends reunited once again. Like going early for that coronation pile driver, Gary says absolutely not. Uh, again, you know, I think these guys are motivated to try and end this thing inside of, uh, of the early moments of the matchup. You may see them looking for those finishers, those bad maneuvers a lot earlier than they normally would in a match where they know that they can test it out, but. Gary may actually try to keep his blood inside himself tonight. <laughs> and a heck of a chop from Wyatt. I think that's why Wyatt and Gary is a, is a tale as old as time, right? Because Wyatt, in his head you ask him, he can do everything that Gary J can do and better. Strike, chop, everything he can do. He believes he can do it better, and Gary J will tell you the same thing. They both believe that they are the measuring and wherever they go for that man. Absolutely, Wyatt cannot get tired and Gary cannot die. One count there. Maybe signifying that we are in for the long haul. <laughs> the crowd is rabid for Gary J and that absolutely helped pull him through many matchups that he should have not been able to continue <laughs> physically. Uh, but also, I don't think the crowd understands that the, a guy like Wyatt feeds off of this. A guy like Wyatt is fooled by, by this uh, response from the crowd. So Kerosene on a bonfire. I don't view it as an advantage as many people would. I think that this is, uh, that's again, why these guys have been so evenly matched. The home field advantage is neutralized for a guy like Wyatt. All right, going to uh, scrape Gary's beard off with his boost laces there for a bit. Wyatt soaking it in from the crowd. Leaving himself wide open for a gut shot, but you have to imagine it's a calculated risk. 
knew he was in control there, maybe uh, for a little bit too long, faster than the glory of it, but he was able to get the momentum right back on his side, deliver that big punishing forearm to the head. Kick straight to the ear. Ooh, stomping on the hand. We've absolutely seen Wyatt employ this strategy before. You know, that big chop is a punishing maneuver. You break his hand, you make it painful for him to throw one of those chops, and it neutralizes a big weapon for Gary J. Sending the knee right into the kidneys. Wyatt with a methodical strategy here, as always. And Jeremy Wyatt is another one of those ones where good luck getting him to not wrestle his title match. Absolutely. He is going to be in control here. You have to throw him off of his game. But with somebody as well-rounded as Wyatt, I mean, that's incredibly difficult. Yes. You want to go high flying, he can do it. Maybe not uh, his preferred method, but he absolutely can. You want to go to the ground game, you see he's right here. He's jumping the life out of Gary J. You want to strike him, like that. He really is one of the most well-rounded competitors I've ever seen step into that ring. Just ragdolling Gary here now again, putting all his weight on the back of the neck like we'd seen earlier with Cam. Gary with a jawbreaker though. Fight and lose getting his win back. And here he comes. Ooh, <laughs> a wicked back elbow from Wyatt, though. Love that counter. Oof. And with the clothesline there, Wyatt. Absolutely feral line in the corner. That's the crazy thing about Wyatt is you just never see the same thing twice from him. Uh, you know, I've seen videos of him training. I've been there personally. And the guy is constantly working on new ways to get in and out of holds, uh, in and out of maneuvers. He, you're never going to see the same game from him twice in a row. It's like he's the Nick Cage of wrestling. He's almost bored by how good he is. Arguable at best uh, <laughs> that Nick Cage is good, but I will. It depends on the movie that. and when tax time's coming up. I will leave that alone. <laughs> With the Alabama handkerchief directly onto the scalp of Gary. Why it is. Maybe letting his hatred of Gary cloud his judgment here as he gives Gary a, Gary a little bit too much time. In a non-CDC sanctioned way, my dad. Oh, oh, oh. Chop right to the back. Oh, oh, oh. That's a little wrestler's code there. You don't chop somebody in the back. That shows the disrespect between these two. Looks like Wyatt may be trying to set Gary up for a super leg sweep here. Oh, nope. Oh, Gary flips it over, it seems. Big counter, but Gary J was thrown all the way across the ring. He's not able to capitalize here. And this is where the home field advantage can come in. He had no gas left in his tank. They were both down on the ground, but he's hearing the roar of that crowd, and that absolutely gets his blood pumping and his heart beating. And he's able to rise up here even before Jeremy Wyatt. Just pops Wyatt right on the cheek. Jab there from Wyatt. Big right hand from Wyatt. Trying to answer, but the, the strikes from Gary J coming in a little louder. There was a big boot there from Wyatt to get him some distance. Wyatt's going up. Gary says, no! Going from the top. Boom! Jay coming in with a big, big forearm there. Wyatt sending himself out of the ring. Just in range for a tope. The Gary J movement just ran right through Jeremy Wyatt. As the momentum seems to be creeping back for Gary J. You know, a narrative no one's talked about. I haven't seen anybody talk about it online. We haven't talked about it during this matchup. You know, what does it mean for Gary J? Oh! Just thrown at the ring. What does it mean for Gary J if he doesn't win this thing? I mean, he's a champion. There's not a lot of chances where you're going to see a non-title match in St. Louis Anarchy. What happens if he gets pinned? 
What does that do to the rankings here? I mean, that could throw everything topsy-turvy. If Wyatt wants another shot at that belt, perfect way to do it is to put Gary J on the ground right here tonight. Absolutely. That's why we keep you around. Look at that big brain. Oh, 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 oh. Big clothesline right fight. out of his shoes. One, two, no. Hell of a kick out from Gary. Wyatt with all of his weight pressed over there. I thought Gary was going to try to counter it into a triangle choke the way that he had Wyatt's arms positioned, but Gary maybe just in desperation mode having to, to use all of his power to kick out of him. As you'd expected, both of these men giving it their all here in the first round of the Dingo. And as this thing goes on, we have to continue to think about night two. These guys are not going to draw an easy opponent tomorrow night, and they are having to go to war here this evening just to, just to stay alive. Gary with the pop-up knee gets sent to the outside. Goes for a step in. Woo! There it is. That could do it. Lanson. One, two, no. <sighs> Wyatt with a kick out. He had that lifting knee scouted. That is a, sort of a setup move for Gary J. Uh, Gary was still able to parlay it into one of his signature maneuvers, that flatliner, as he bound in from the outside. Both men once again fighting to their feet. Gary seeming to be up first. Ooh. Wyatt at the last second able oh. to get out of the way. Whoa, oh, holy man. Moses! He's got a he's got a modified cross face on with that turnbuckle digging into the shoulder of Gary J. Going for a roll up. Boy. One, two. Wow. Ooh. Innovative offense from Jeremy Wyatt. Ooh. Finds himself now back into a striking battle, though. Gary's lucky he doesn't have some sort of torn labrum or something off of that. That was devastating. I don't know what kind of shot of that we had at home, but. Absolutely devastating, even for just three or four seconds. Backslide, one, two, no. Gary rolls through. And then Arnold Lamy struck cradle, one, two, no. Gary, what are we doing here? Going a little roll around town. We're trying to just, whoa, Wyatt turned it around into a sleeper. He's got him on a choke. Wyatt rolls through. One, two, no. <sighs> Boom, kick to the gut. Look at that pile driver, nobody home, jackknife, one, two, no. Big spinning forearm, roaring elbow, one, two, three, there That's it is! It. Whew. What does it mean if Gary gets pinned? We won't know till tomorrow, if we find out tomorrow at all.